I get back to my car, I'm gonna drink lots of water, stare at the map a bit, make sure I didn't uh, miss anything important. Here's the, uh, one of the natural bridges slash skylight again, facing the sun, but it's partly cloudy now. Maybe the lighting will be a bit better. Have to step on some snow to get through here. My shoe is coming untied. So here we are. I'm going to leave the natural light on. It's not that dark, but notice, or leave the, you know what I mean? Notice how the cave goes up a few feet here. This is a small lava fall. Not huge, but definitely neat. camera's picking this up. My camera doesn't have very good low light performance. Look at that, somebody stacked up some rocks and trees to make a bench here. I guess they decided it's a good place to sit and have a picnic. Of course you're not really supposed to eat inside of a cave, but I don't know why else you'd be sitting here. The sunlight is so diffused you couldn't even get like a... See now we're crawling back down. So you think about it, if we crawl back up and down, there could actually be another level underneath us right now. Very interesting. see any sign of a trail. Well, this rock's a little bit slippery. Some bugs flying around, some sort of flies. Huh. Trying to figure out how I got through here without trampling the plants. There are plants everywhere. I don't want to damage them by stomping through. All right, here we go. Neat. a little hole to the side here I want to check out it's probably small but I don't know for sure unless I actually look yeah it might be big enough to crawl back there but the floor looks rough I'm not feeling it sometime I'll come back when it's dry 
with elbow pads and knee pads and all that good stuff. Then I can really explore this cave. We'll call this trip an A minus. Oh boy, look how uneven the floor is here. So much natural light though. Just skylight after skylight after skylight. If you're afraid of the dark, you probably shouldn't be caving, but this would probably be a good cave to start at, except it's not a, it's not a tourist cave. So good luck finding it. just crazy how uneven the floor is here some caves especially at the cave loop road they have really really smooth floors it's almost like concrete because the lava flowed so smoothly and it cooled at just the right rate and so on here I don't know what happened oh I, I recognize these rocks this is the end this is where I came in so as soon as I climb up there, I'm calling it good. I mean, for this cave. Next cave. And another, and another, and another. Yeah, just like most caves, the entrance is usually the hardest part. Man, look at the size of those rocks. How the heck did they get in here? It's like somebody just dumped them in here. Crazy. Anyway. Can't believe this whole cave. I haven't seen any bats. I mean, a cave this big, you'd think there'd be a spot, one spot somewhere that caves bats would like. Maybe it's just too wet or something, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Definitely would have been a nice, handy place to have knee pads. Alrighty then. Well, I'm gonna call that good. There we are at Tickner Cave.